want to look for a game changer in the world of graphic design, here is a powerful platform that simplifies the process of creating stunning visuals for your project. With RenderDead, you can effortlessly bring your ideas to life with high-quality 3D renders, animations, and graphics. Whether you're designing a new product, creating marketing, materials, or crafting immersive experiences, it provides the tools and resources you need to make your vision a reality. Say goodbye to complex design software and hello to streamlined creativity with RenderNet. Now let's explore. Click on create for free. That's no credit card required. Let's see how it goes. You need to advertise my Google account and then you can see now the screen. You have different features with you have endless possibilities with RenderNet. Like for example, you have multi-model generations. You can transform pose of any image. And one more thing, control net is the most important features. As you can see, you can explore different kinds of avatars, different kinds of AI models. Now let's go one by one through it. You can even have a fitness model, a fashion influencer, a travel vlogger, a movie character, anyone. First of all, once you click on home, and then you can click on studio. The home screen appears like this. This is your home screen. Now, first of all, we have this magic mode option. You can see now if you want to create a Canon image, a cinema type image, a fugitive image, a Google pixelated image, iPhone 14 Pro Max image, or an HDR image. So you can select all styles. If you want a realistic one, you can select if you want any more comic one. You can also select that if you want some themes. You have art, you have gaming, you have crafts, and you have other functions. I'll choose a realistic one because I want a realistic one. Then you have another option called the models. You can select the model if you want a realistic model, an epic realism, or a real cartoon, a juggernaut Excel, a night vision Excel, a dream shaper, any of the models you want, you can select from these. I'll select a cyber realistic model. All right. Now, let's move on to the settings part. The settings part, you can adjust your seed to recreate or edit a specific image. Like I'll keep it to 3 and then I'll keep it minus 1. Let's keep it minus 1. Then you have a method used to render the image. Leave it like that as a default settings. Then you have number of steps taken with sampler. I'll keep it 30. It's 30. I'll keep it 30. And then there's an AI guidance prompts impact on the image. I'll keep it as 9. You have a help option also. This AI guidance defines the creativity of the AI. Lower number gives AI more freedom to dream that he thinks of the AI model thinks that he can make uh, images according to his dream realities. Then number of images generated in each batch. I want three images generated in each batch. Let's move it to three. And then you have the aspect ratio. You can select any aspect ratio. Then you have flora option. This flora option is an option called if you want an image in the cinema excel if you want the image in a glitch one you can add more details you need a detail slider any option you can choose from these all right then there are there is control net control net is the most important feature that i talked about in the starting you can transport from the pores of any image you have multi-model generations also and you get a uh, popular lora models also these are some popular lora models and then Let's explore the control net option. You can select an image here. You can upload and drag a photo. Let's see, upload a photo of Messi. I want the control net preprocessor to be normal. And let's see, the depth should be the same. If you want a canny image, you can also select that. I don't want a canny image. I want a balanced image. Like, I don't want my prompt is not more important. I just want a balanced image. If your prompt is more important, you can select this option. If your control net is more important, you can select this option. Then, you have an option called crop and resize, just resize, resize and fill. You can select it according to your requirements. Let's click on generate. Let's use another one. Let's click something else. Let's write a boy. I have written a boy standing against the wall. I need a 3D character. This was the prompt I gave. And I need a yellow hoodie. This is created by my AI. And I used this image of Messi. So it's about almost the same and if I write control net is more important and then I click on generate since my credits are over I'll just remove the ones that I've created before on one account you have just one free credit and then you need to upgrade your version to create images a woman wearing fashionable clothes posing on a street you can see here these are some images and see the hand pos positions are some bit awkward in this one but this one is fine and this one is also fine a 
according to the hand positions and this was what one was another a woman very fashionable with clothes posing on a street this was an adoption so you can explore you have bundles of possibilities with rendernet and create your ai images accordingly then you have an option called face lock you can upload and drag image face lock guide upload a close up image of one person with their face clearly visible and then you can have best results with that i'll upload messi here and this enables the function of face lock it's on and then you can change it accordingly since it also requires credits and these are the some featured plans we'll explore later in the video then we have an option called change it in change it option it actually changes image elements as per your needs if you want to change the image let's say specify only one image you need to change the white jacket to a blue jacket you can do that you need to change a yellow jacket specify only a new object in detail and you can also specify any element in the image element means your hair pants eye glasses etc and objects means what the person is wearing or what the person has the features that the person has like for example the pink hair cargo pants he's wearing he has blue eyes she's wearing sunglasses you can click change it and it changes it like for example it's an example here she is wearing a white jacket and i want her to wear a yellow jacket so you can see now it actually does not change into a yellow one but it has some design like in the sleeves it is white and in the whole jacket it is yellow but it's a good one it's generated a good image so this is another option called change it there are endless possibilities available with render ai as i said now let's explore the featured options for now, it's a 40% off on selected packs, and these are the four or five packs. It's a new pack that's dollar ten, and you get 300 credits. Then it's an amateur pack, and that's dollar twenty. It has thousand credits. Wow! And then it's a master pack, dollar thirty-five. It's a 30% off on this. It has five thousand credits, and then it's a legends pack, which has dollar sixty, and it's a 40% off, and it has ten thousand credits. Like we have bundles of credits available. And what I mean about credits is. That you can see here, if I select any one of the options, it gives me to have one credit used. This has one credit, everything has a credit to be used. And once you generate stuff, you have one credit per image. And then accordingly, as you go, you can see that there are different credits available for different stuff. So this is about RenderNet. If you're enjoying this video, please subscribe to this channel for more amazing AI tools. Thank you.